program at ECU is trying to make the process of transitioning from the battlefield to the classroom smoother for veteran students. WNCT's Kara Gann was able to sit in on one of those sessions today at the university. And Kara, what can you tell us? Angie, the week-long program is called Veteran to Scholar. Students participating in this program say they believe it will help them in and out of the classroom this fall. A big focus of this program is, is orientation. So the Writing Center, the Student Academic Success Center, um, the library, um, counseling availability, making sure that they know everything that's there to kind of help them um, make their way forward. Dr. Anna Frola started this program last year. Its goal is simple, help veterans succeed at ECU. We've been talking a lot about writing strategies and how to shake the dust off those if it's been a while. The program also uses video, movies, and books to help veteran students connect with others and themselves. I spoke with a veteran student, Joseph Rate, and he tells me this program has helped him shape his college identity. But coming to this class actually has helped me a lot and to like develop my own voice, if you, if you will, and helps me to um, break out the shell that I had originally like forced myself into like transitioning from the military to the, the college life. This program has also helped students build relationships with each other. They've exchanged numbers. When they start the semester, they're not gonna be alone. They're gonna have each other. They're gonna know that I'm in their corner. And not only is this program an effort to strengthen the relationship between veteran and veteran, but it's also an effort to bridge the gap between a veteran and a civilian. We've had a lot of fruitful discussions about what are civilians' responsibility. How, how much are we supposed to learn about the wars that we're still in? I also learned today the phrase, thank you for your service is appreciated, but to strengthen that conversation, ask about the location of deployment, the food, the experience. They tell me they just want to be talked to and treated like everyone else. Kerrigan, nine on your side.